Oh yeah, it is 2.38 p.m. right now and finally everyone left the spillway. I am the only one out here at the moment, which is great. Let me tell you all something. I love shooting my YouTube videos, but I don't really like to shoot when there's a lot of people around. Main reason being I don't want to disturb people. I mean, some people like to just come out, you know, escape life and just have a fun time, chill time out here. Not a lot of people like when a crazy Asian kind of shows up yelling everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So now that they left, I decided to shoot the YouTube video for today. Uh, I already caught some yellow perch over here, the Perca flavicens, and also some bluegill, the Lepomis macrocutus. Those were my first yellow perch, the first bluegill of this year. You may have noticed in the previous video, if you watched the previous video on the channel, that this year I'm not only counting the number of fish that I am catching per year, right, per the year of 2020, there's also a new purple number on the top that signifies the number of species that I have caught this year. So right now we are at S3. How about that, huh? And I'm going to spend a few hours here in my favorite spillway trying to catch some other species of fish for you guys. Kind of, you know, up the counter, right? I don't like to have the number down there single digit. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, we need to go to double digits. Double digits. Let's do it. For the second day of this year, I'm kind of getting fancy. I'm not just using one rod today. I'm actually using two rods right and i got an assortment of different baits with me i got some juicy red wigglers oh my goodness look at that huh? i almost want to fry it up and eat them actually i don't i'm just joking <laughs> i got some sweet corn that i chummed in here i'm actually using corn on this rod over here just in case you know there's some common carp around the cyprinus carpio right and i also got some juicy mealworms in the pack over here so nothing too fancy winter jigging soaking bait style fishing and see how many different species we can actually catch in this video right i am already at the count of two. Oh, got a bite got a bite got something fish on yeah yellow perch haha <laughs> i got one of these today already but i just wanted to show you guys that they are here at the spillway right i'm going to wet my hands over here real quick with my photo tank booyah so that i can touch the fish properly you know it's always good right when you have the opportunity of wetting your hands so there you have it oh man this yellow perch does not want to pose for youtube it's my second yellow perch of the year of 2020 i already took enough shots of yellow perch so i don't really need to take a shot at this one inhale i did inhale right bit on the side <laughs> of our night crawler over here let's release it over there all right buddy time for you to go back where you belong look at that uh, beautiful fish we got oh he was pissed and he's gone This place is actually quite hot. We got a little hole right over here in this little current seam. So I'm going to keep casting in this little hole to see if there are more fish. You guys may have noticed already from the footage that this year I will try to bring you guys some underwater footage, right? I mean, I got three GoPros, so I figure why not, you know, try to do some underwater stuff. You will have to pardon me, though for the shots <laughs> that I have included so far. I'm still kind of working out the angles, you know what I'm saying? But once I got everything figured out and we actually have some places around here with very clear water, those shots are going to be great. So look forward to it, look forward to it. Oh, did you see that bite, dude? How did I not get that fish, man? Did you? Did you see that bite? It was like... How did I not get that fish, man? Oh, oh, we got a hit on the worm, my man. Send it to heaven, boy. That's what's up. We got a fish on here. What is it? It's another yellow perch. 
Okay, yellow perch pretty active today. Not bad. I would rather be catching yellow perch in the winter than catching no fish at all, right? Yeah, that's what's up, man. Winter time, a lot of people think, oh yeah, I'm done for the winter. I'm not going to fish anymore. But I tell you what, if you are a multi-species angler, there are so many species, right, that will bite through the winter. And yellow perch is really one of them. This one's a small one, look. It is in its attack position, right? It's got two spines on the operculum, one over here and one over there. This is your typical attack position. The perch is telling me, don't mess with me, man, or I am going to perforate you. <laughs> Man, the fishing pressure over here is actually so high that year after year it gets more difficult and more difficult to catch all the different species of fish here. Anyways, I've just changed my rig to a little split shot and just one piece of corn on the hook. I want to see if I can drift the stuff or just throw the stuff down there and if there are any trout around the area. Man, sunset is coming. It is 3.27 p.m. right now. I've been running this corn over here, free-falling on the line, drifting with a split shot. I've been doing it for like 45 minutes now, and I have not gotten a single bite down there. Now, you see, there were some folks fishing earlier today before I started shooting this YouTube video, and they let me know that the Russian dude who was fishing here caught a few uh, holdover rainbow trout, right? The Onkorinkus mikis. So I thought, I always carry with me in my bag uh, a can of corn and a can of those Chef Boyardee raviolis, right? <laughs> so, so I thought, why not drop some corn down there and try for the trout? 45 minutes later, nothing. So it's time to change plans again. I started with a high-low rig and then I went for the corn, ch even chum the place. But I think the pressure was really too high on those trout. So I'm going for with the ice fishing jig for the rest of the day. See if there are any crappie around the area, right? Yeah, you know what? Let's try to catch my first crappie of 2020. Okay, birdie? Damn, that's a, that's, that's, that's a set of beautiful birds right here. Hmm, good chicken. Okay, I think we're good to go. When it comes to the frost bite, ice fishing jig. There are so many choices. I could put some red wigglers on the stuff right here. They do look juicy. And then we also got these little mealworms. You know what? I've been using worms for most of the day. And this place is highly pressured. Maybe if I change the bait, the species are going to change or maybe the fish are going to kind of let their guards down a little bit, right? You never know. So I'm gonna jig some mealworms now. Oh my goodness, I'm getting a nice bite. I'm getting, oh my goodness, I got a nice bite on my other rod. Dude, why does this happen to me when I'm on this side of this thing? And if the ranger sees me jumping this metal thing here, he can kick me out of this place because you're not supposed to so oh, why is it always like this is the fish on dude i saw the bite all the way from there man it was a good band man you've got to be kidding me this this fish is messing with me you, you've got to be kidding me bro that was a real nice band i can't believe it it's not on i run all the way over here for nothing I mean, didn't really run, kind of jogged over here, but whatever, you know? Ah, okay, let's put it down here again ah, and continue with the jigging. So since you came over here, you were probably here to tell me that it is time to go, huh? Is that what it is? Cripper kid, why do you always show up in the video when it's time to go home? I need to catch one more fish, okay? I know you want to go eat your little uh, Korean squids. What the heck? Here but I need to catch one more fish to get into double digits, okay? okay. And then we go home, all right? Okay. I know you're freezing out here, but hang in there. Hang in there a little bit longer, Cripo. All right, folks, I thought that the sunset was going to be my limit. It is only 3.44, so I actually have 50 minutes before sunset over here. It is getting dark pretty early, but apparently I will have to go even earlier because Cripper Kid showed up over here, you know? 
And you know what that means, right? Same thing with the previous video. Every time Creeper Kid shows up, it's time to go home. Now, I do not want to go home with single digits for today, right? One of the main goals for today is to get out of the single digits. So I need one more fish, one more fish to get out of the single digits. Can we do this? We will see. Oh, got a hit, got a hit. Got a hit, boy! 10th fish of the year coming up! Yeah, that's it. All right, my goal for the day is accomplished. We got ourselves here a beautiful yellow perch. Today has been the day of the perch, right? All perca flavi since I'm not complaining. That's fish number 10 right here, double digits. As I told you guys, I hate single digits. So I, <laughs> I'm actually quite happy. You guys have no idea, right? For you guys, yeah, a few perch, bluegill here and there. But the struggle for catching fish out here has been so real that every little single fish today really, really counts, okay? Oh my, it took my, took my red wiggler too. All right, there you go, there you go. Look at that yellow perch, huh? It's just chilling here. You see that? Okay, now it's gone. Tenth fish of the day. What? Oh, yeah, a little bit. I wanna catch. I wanna try to catch more, right? Oh my goodness, dude! Fish number eleven is a different species. <laughs> I did end up catching my first crappie of the year and it turns out to be a white crappie Dupomoxis annularis yo that is beautiful right when Cripper Kid wanted to go home huh you see that you see that sometimes you stay out here man good things happen you know what I'm saying right ah uh, that is what's up my people look at that huh I don't know what's up with the eye of this little white crappie over here, but <laughs> let's put it back here. Little beautiful fish, huh? Yeah, look at that, huh? Oh yeah, ready to go? Ready to go. I mean, it is about sunset anyways, right? So it is not just like Cripper Kid wants to go home. After 3 p.m. on winters, the air temperature does start to get pretty low. So you feel it, you feel it, you really do. Once you, you come out here like 11 a.m. and you fish until 2 p.m. and everything's good. Once it hits like 2.30, 3 o'clock, it starts to get pretty darn cold, right? Which is why I don't really show you guys, but I always have these hand warmers with me, right? They work real good and I really recommend you guys to get these if you fish during the winter time. I ended up catching my first bluegill of 2020, my first yellow perch, and my first white crappie for a total of 11 fishes for this year. I mean, it's not like the action out here is like so hot, you know what I'm saying? We caught four fish yesterday, seven fish today, but it is an improvement, right? Four, seven, tomorrow maybe 50 <laughs> i really didn't want to do this but modern nature is really forcing me to do it um the fishing over here hasn't really like all jokes aside the fishing over here has been real tough the fish in this video they did come up but it was also real tough to catch them uh it took me a few hours just to catch seven fish right so tomorrow or the day after the next video here on the youtube channel I will have to go to one of my winter honey holes, the very productive ones, to show you guys the power of EPF this year, you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned, look forward to it. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you are having a wonderful 2020 so far. If you have been fishing for this past two days, I hope you have caught some fish. I will see you guys in two days or so. Tight lines and take it easy.